Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a rewards market talk video today because we are very close. This video is going to go live a couple hours before Foot Champions rewards will be released onto the Ultimate Team market. And I want to talk about where you could maybe put some coins in right before rewards for a Thursday flip. And also what I think is going to happen after rewards today and on this Thursday on FIFA. So again, uh, the one thing that I don't think is being talked about right now, and this actually does impact the market, is, wow, they just took it off the loading screen. Where was it at, man? Literally, I loaded into foot, and there was a, um, not a loading screen, but a little, like a banner in Ultimate Team at the front page about the stay and play um, stuff that's going on with, with FIFA right now, um, and with the uh, live streams. And what they're doing right now with the, what is it, the, the Stay and Play Cup, I think it's what it's called. The Stay and Play Cup uh, is being live streamed every day. And, and there was just a picture right here. There literally was just like an infographic right here on foot, but now it's gone. Anyways, um, you guys can tune into that live stream on twitch.tv backslash EA Sports FIFA or whatever. And watch for a chance to get a guaranteed foot birthday player, which is what they, they put out today. Um, I didn't see many people getting those packs today, so again, that's... It's up to EA and they didn't tell us how many they're going to release and how many they're going to drop, but supposedly they're giving out some free packs and stuff in those streams. So that's an incentive if you guys want to, you know, open that tab, mute the tab, and then, you know, let it run in the background or something like that. You could possibly get something for, for Ultimate Team if you have your, your accounts linked and they tell you how to do that on the stream. So uh, check that if you do want to do that. But uh, today on foot, we got a couple SBCs. Actually, one of them was relating to the stuff that's going on the the stay at home stay and play kick cup kickoff uh, i presume we're going to get another sbc or two because of this that's going on supposedly this is going on until like the weekend i think at least it, I, I think it's at least going from uh, until friday so uh maybe friday or saturday this this cup is going on so uh just be just be aware of that we could see a couple sbcs because of that but we got ucl marquee matchups today that was some tradable supply and then a mega pack untradable for the market and I want to look at high rated fodder because I think this is the first talking point for rewards today that I want to talk about this high rated fodder I think is going to continue to go down because people have done the SBCs they want to do and if the mid icon goes away which the mid icon is going away uh, th these cards prices are going to drop down a decent amount because that demand is no longer there for those cards and I think they're going to get supplied a lot today at rewards they got supplied a lot on third or on Wednesday with those pack supply SBCs with the the UEFA marquee matchups that's also or that's always a big hit uh, on those SBCs when they drop those and by the way if you invested in uh, UCL rare golds you made some some good money on that those boom today I don't mess around with that stuff much but I know some of you guys do and that was very profitable because they continue requiring those UCL rares and um, they for some reason people love the SBCs which we know that but those cards uh, are definitely more rare than the rare golds, which EA told us that the UCL versions and the, and the gold versions are going to have the same drop weight, which they definitely don't. Uh, but high rated drop today. That's the main thing I want to get out here. 86 is basically everything across the board is dropping because of the pack supply today. SBCs got a lot cheaper, and I think they're going to continue to get cheaper as we go on through this week. That's why I told you guys, if you're planning on doing Hulk, if you're planning on doing um, Play the Month Sancho in the few time that it has remaining, Christian Fuchs, uh, or any of these, any of these player SBCs back here in the back, um, I wanted you guys to wait until that mid icon goes away because these cards prices, if you look up their SBCs on Footbin, they're going to be a lot cheaper because uh, a lot of people want to do Boateng, right? Boateng is getting a lot of hype right now in Foot, so um, you're going to see this guy's SBC cost if you have to actually buy the cards go down a lot because the high rateds are dropping, and I think more of that is going to happen today with Foot Champions rewards because we don't have any new guaranteed SBCs coming out and uh, there's nothing like hype in the SBC section right now. So I do think we're going to see some drops on those cards today. Now, I want to talk Foot Birthdays as well because obviously today we learned that the Foot Birthday Guaranteed pack that was put in the pack code um, is, at least for now, not being used as something to... It doesn't look like it's going to be an SBC basically is what, where I'm going with this. It looks like it's just going to be used for the event. Now, since EA has added it into the code, they could drop it at any time, and they could drop it as an SBC or as an objective at any time that they would want to. Uh, but since we're kind of out of the foot birthday promo, 
and possibly another promo coming this weekend. I don't think they're going to add that in as an SBC. I don't think we're going to see anything with that except for a like Twitch drop from the live stream. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. But this morning we saw prices kind of linger and then some of these foot birthdays uh, took another little bit of a shot up. Not really up that much, but they kind of returned to where they were Monday uh, or where they were um, Sunday night going into Monday before we had the whole um, pack code added in. There was a little bit of panic. But again, this is what happened. The uh, the lasagna here was 140,000 coins. The panic happens. And then yesterday, he's kind of down in the 130s, hit 133 at one point. Nothing came out at 6 p.m. He got bought, bought back up to 145. He's still around there right now. What's going to happen to these cards today? And again, I know tons and tons of people have invested in these. Um, but since we had that little blip earlier this week where I think a lot of people actually went and dumped their cards, not a ton of people, but a decent amount, I think that might affect some of these cards and their rises. I, I was first worried that they were a bit over-invested, right? Like maybe Havertz, because Havertz went from 330K and now he's 370. I know he's one of the most used foot birthday cards in terms of games played, which means he has hype, um, but I thought he was a bit over-invested. Cancelo, I feel like he's possibly a bit over-invested. Lozano could very easily be over-invested because a lot of people invested in the cheaper value cards. What's gonna happen with those today at rewards? If you have invested in those cards, um, I, mm. It's kind of a, it's, it's gonna be like on a situation by situation basis, and it's gonna be on the per card basis. These cards, remember, they have a decent amount of supply. That's the only thing that scares me. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these cards really don't go up that much today. I would not be surprised if a lot of these for birthday cards don't rise up that much today. Maybe they rise up, you know, a couple thousand coins. Maybe some of the upper tier ones, upper echelon, like a foot birthday. Bale or a Griezmann or Mbappe, those types of guys could go up a little bit more because they're just more rare on the market. Uh, but the guys that are supplied a lot, Muniain, Cancelo, Lozano, Eggstein, uh, Correa, Gaetan, guys, guys like those, I wouldn't be surprised if their prices kind of stayed the same today because I feel like most people who maybe one of these cards already bought them. Uh, but again, there's a lot of people on foot that just kind of buy their teams on Thursdays after rewards, especially the casual user base that is now on this game because there's, they have a lot more time on their hands. So just keep a lookout for that kind of stuff today. Teo Hernandez is one of the guys that I've invested in. Uh, I got one at three, one at 360, which was a really low undercut. And then I got another one at uh, 380, right? So in, right now I think this guy's 400K. Open says 400, that must've been an undercut. Yeah, cause he's been around like 415 most of the day. So he's actually 410,000 coins, 419. Um, this is the type of guy that I do think will go up. I think this guy could be 430 or 440. Uh, again, the big thing here with this card for me is the supply, right? 440,000 coins. How many pages of supply does he have? He literally has three pages, not even three full pages of supply. A French left back. I know there's a left back SBC out in this game, but this promo was all about French cards. I do think some of these cards will continue to rise today. So if you bought a rare player. This is how you can check to see if you got a rare player, right? Or somebody who I think is going to rise. Check their supply, right? Let's go Cancelo. A lot of people bought Cancelo today. This is a great way to know how much supply a card has. Cancelo is 220, 223k. Is that correct? Right around 220. Uh, 225k. Cancelo is right around 225k. He's actually 228. Never mind. 228k for Cancelo. How many pages does he have at like 245, right? Um, you know, a lot of you guys probably bought like 200k, so you're making good money already. But how much, how many, you know, we went up 15,000 coins from where that card was right now. And look how much supply he has. Look how much supply he has, man. We have 10 pages. We have 11 pages. We have 12. We have 13, 14. And we have a decent amount of supply on Cancelo, only going up 15,000 coins from where his current price is. And then on Theo Hernandez, we went up from 420k to where his price was right now to 440k. So we went up 20k and he only had two and a half pages instead of 12, 13, 14 pages. So I know that Cancelo is in demand. Uh, their price ranges are pretty similar, 400k versus 220, but there's still a difference there. Um, but I would just be careful. I really would. Lozano as well. Um, you know, Serie A stuff that's going on in the game right now. We we had the Gervinho SBC. I'm not, I'm trying to think of like SBCs that would be hype that people would want to do to link this card to. Uh, I know we had the Manolas SBC, but all right. So Cancelo or Lozano's like 104. 
how much supply do we have at like 115? If he went up to 115K tomorrow, I would I would be a little bit surprised. Like this is the type of card that I could see going to like 110 um, and then not much higher. Because again, look at how much supply this card has. Literally, we, go, we went 10K higher. We went from 104, 105 to 115. And he has tons and tons of supply. And I think that supply is going to stay there because people who, even more supply is going to come on the market. So lower tier foot birthdays, be careful with them. Check the supply on your card, just like I did there. You saw what I did? Go out. If you have a certain card that you invested in, check the supply. Go up 20, 30, 40,000 coins and see how many pages are there. That can kind of tell you how much I would expect these to go up. Could Lozano drop tomorrow or today after rewards? I don't know if that's really possible, but I know a lot of people are expecting these cards to rise on Thursday at rewards. So don't be shocked if they don't because so many people start listing them because they invest it, right? There's still a lot of people that are holding cards like that on their transfer list, me included, but I don't have any of those lower tier guys. I have Teo Hernandez. I have, um, I've got a Havertz. I've got some Theo Hernandez and some Lucas Hernandez. These are the only foot birthdays that I have. I have some team of the week cards, man. These were a bit overlooked. Foot birthdays did great out of packs, but this Lewandowski I got for 380K, 390 on that one. Uh, 378 and 375 on, on these four levels. I already sold one of them for a lazy buyer at 475. Uh, but this Lewandowski is already, I think, up to 430 or 440. The team of the week, okay, it says he's 400K right now. That is a massive undercut. If he is still 400K, I'm going to go snag that, according to Footbin. Uh, but the team of the week rose very, very nicely as well. Uh, Hyomin Sun was down closer to... 1.25 or lower, and he's now back up to 1.35. Uh, I think that Lewandowski was just an undercut because Lewa is 421,000 coins, which is where he should be. So expect cards like that to rise a little bit more today just because they're more rare, right? They're just more rare. Um, the other thing is, all right, let's say, I mentioned something about a possible promo coming this weekend. Let's say that we get a promo this weekend on FIFA Ultimate Team and we get a... Um, Let's say we get a loading screen today at 6 p.m. All right, let's say we get a loading screen. Another promo is coming. Um, I do think that you would see an, a more of a decline in the full birthdays because people would be wanting to get those cards out. We've already seen people panic uh, for what you maybe would call less experienced investors in this game. We've already seen people panic sell some of their investments because of a pack code that was entered in earlier this week, right? Um, we found out nothing happened with that pack code. Prices shot right back up. Today, if we get a loading screen, I do think you're going to start to see undercutting on those foot birthdays. So in my opinion, I would want to get your foot birthday investments out sooner rather than later, in my opinion, because I think there's a possibility we could get a promo this weekend. We don't know until we get a loading screen, but um, I, I think it's possible, right? If you bought some stuff on Sunday, like I did, I bought these Telemans on Sunday at 234. I think this guy right now is like 270 or 280. We're feeling good, right? We're going to take the coins after rewards on cards like this, on a card that is like this, that has been out of packs for a long time, this T-Lemons card, um, or if you bought a winner refresh in the panic or a future stars, um, or, you know, a card like this list those higher, because these are just so much more rare on the market than the foot birthdays are since they were just in packs. Um, so have more, have more faith in a higher rise in a card like an Usman Dembele wrote to the final or anything that has been out of packs for a while. If there was just panic selling on an FFS or a winter refresh or a shapeshifter card that you got last week, I would expect those to again continue to rise after rewards more than the foot birthdays would just because they're more rare. They've been out of packs for longer. They didn't get supplied. There was just panic for an SBC. So I would expect those to rise up a little bit more. And uh, for the rest of your Thursday flips, what's the sell time on these? I've got some left backs um, from the Prem that are you know cheap right now because of the uh, Christian Fuchs SBC. I'm going to be holding on to those for a while. But the rest of the stuff that I have, I'm probably just going to sell by the end of the night Thursday. By nighttime Thursday after awards, even if there is a loading screen, I'm probably just going to cash out on most of those cards, take my coins, and be fully liquid for Friday. Whatever Friday brings... I want to be fully liquid because EA knows right now a lot of people are at home and they have a chance to make some coins and a chance to do some stuff on the market. So uh, late tonight on Thursday as well, we will, of course, be staying tuned to Twitter, staying tuned to whatever the pack code. If there's new uh, pack designs that are added, uh, we always see those Thursday nights would be like a night before a promo is when they add some of that stuff into the code. So if we find some of that here, uh, we're definitely going to talk about it tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that. But 
as far as today goes, good luck with your weekend league rewards. Um, I was going to say about the team of the week moments five, it was not the team of the week that people thought it was going to be. Of course, I said guys like Langley was supposed to be in, Mbappe, Royce. None of that happened today. So if you took my advice and you sold your Royce headliner into the into the hype, uh, you're looking really good there because that card dropped a bunch. Um, but we did get a messy team of the week. Um, he's already got a 97 or 96 rated center attack image shapeshifter. I forget what rating that is, to be honest. It might be 97. It might be 96, actually. I think it's 96. I don't remember, but... This is his second position change card from right wing to center attack in mid. Uh, so it's cool to have another Messi. Um, and I was really hoping that we didn't have a promo this weekend because I would love this. Uh, I would absolutely love these cards to go up out of packs. I really, really would. I would love these cards to go up out of packs, but I just don't know if it's possible. Um, if these cards or if, um, if we're going to get lighting rounds this weekend, because if we didn't get lighting rounds, I think these guys would go up out of packs. I would love this Matuidi for an out of packs investment, Martial, um, and uh, somebody else, Ter Stegen. Wow, man, Ter Stegen would be a fantastic out of packs investment because, again, this is the keeper that most people use in this game. He's one of the most OP, and uh, he's, he's the keeper that a lot of people are going to keep using in this game as well. I mean, people still rocking. You would not believe how many people are still rocking Scream PK. At this point in the game. So this guy's like 200,000 coins. I would expect to drop with rewards today. Uh, as he does get some, he gets, does get packed. Uh, but then, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these Team of the Weeks got low during rewards. And when I say some of these Team of the Weeks, um, I mean... I mean, um, what's his name? Martial, Matuidi, and Ter Stegen. If you want to watch those cards during rewards, a lot of times what happens is... A lot of people want to use these, right? This Matuidi, a French... CDM or CM, I know he's two-star, two-star, but the links on this card are insane, especially with the promotes going on with all the French cards that have come out. If you see this guy drop, you know, 10, 20% during rewards, right now he is 69,000 coins. If you see this guy like 50K, all right, if, if Matweedy hits like 50K, that for me would be like, okay, this is an issue. We might need to pick some of these up. Martial, I think right now is 200,000 coins. If you see him maybe at like 160 or 150, 70 ish might be too low to be honest but what happens often during rewards is a lot of these cards get packed people open their elite team of the week packs of course there's messy in here so they're probably going to open them um, and then they don't get them um, but then some people do get them or you know there's just a lot of packs open so there's supply for these cards and then people start buying their team so if you're awake during rewards watch the supply on some of those um martial matweedy terstegen and messy Maybe Immobile as well. I just don't know how many people want to use this Immobile card. What is it? His fifth in form in FIFA, and he still doesn't have 90 pace. Uh, it, this guy gets robbed every single year. He gets so many in forms, and he's so re he's so good in real life, but he just does not get the respect and the special cards in FIFA that he deserves. So watch that during rewards as well. But if you got foot birthdays, and I'm telling you, if you got foot birthdays, check the supply like I did on the market right there. If you want to take the coins before awards and you just don't want to deal with it and you don't think the cards are going to go up, maybe if you bought somebody like Correa or Gaetan or Eggstein maybe, then maybe you just take the coins before awards. You're already in the profit. The cards are already up really nicely and you would you would feel bad if you just waited so long. Then there's panic selling that comes because maybe there's a, a loading screen or a new promo that comes out and then you end up not making as much coins as you could. So uh, if you're happy with the profit now, just take it. You know what I'm I, That's what I would say. Just don't risk it headed into the weekend. We don't know what's going to happen. I have a hard time thinking that EA is just going to let their game sit here this weekend with no promo. So, you know what? There is it, it there is possibility for a promo this weekend. We'll see. We will see. We'll be watching tomorrow to see what EA does want to do. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Good luck with your rewards. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.